When you're a kid, being grown up looks so easy. Nobody tells you it's harder than it looks. Okay, bibs, blankets, a monitor. I am totally getting these. Look at little temporary tattoos for babies. <laughs> oh, look at there's a little stroller, a little pacifier, little I love mom. It's cute, right? Yeah, it's more of a novelty item. Focus on the must-haves, what Judith really needs. A bumbo, a Greco snug ride, and the Daphne. Chaz loves his Daphne. <laughs> Is that a stuffed animal? It's a reclining plastic bath seat. Right. right. Now, what about the high chair? You've got options. That those feelings that you have, that you don't measure up, that you're not keeping pace, they never go away. So you must be the best friend we've heard so much about. Mm -hmm. You must be so excited for this baby. Oh, I am. And how are the preparations for the shower coming? Good. I mean, they're re really good. I'm almost ready. Organizing these things can be so much work. We threw one last year for Marie's sister. I can recommend a really good caterer if you want. Okay, uh, caterer. Okay, Erica, I need your opinion. Yes. Anthony likes the green one, but I'm just, I'm not sure. What do you think? No contest at all, Jamie. Low tech, high tech. It reclines, it swivels, it's got a five point harness. This is just much more practical. But the low tech, I mean, it's it's really cute. And I like the wood, it's more natural. Yeah, it is cute. And and the wood is nice and oh god, it costs about the same as a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. What? High chairs are pricey, oh. but that's what the godmother's for, right? God godmother? Chu told you, didn't she? Marie, it was supposed to be a surprise. Oh, no, this is, uh, that, that's, that's fine. I'll just, I'll, I'll pretend that I, can, like, I don't know. Damn, <laughs> guys, Ugh, I've got to run. Anthony's got this lunch thing. And I'm... Well, you can't go yet. We need to put the items on the registry first. Maybe we can coordinate some. It, you know what? You just go. I'll deal with it. Really? Yeah, no problem. OK. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Thank you. See you at the shower. Hey, looking forward to it. What do you do when you feel like you're the only kid in a room full of adults? Well, the only thing you can do, you smile, you step up, and you try your best to fit in. Hi there. Um, this is Judith Winter's registry. I'd just like to enter these into the system. And can I include um, a delivery to my address? I'm hosting the baby shower. So. Oh, great. Yeah. And I, I would also like to buy the wooden high chair. Wow, she must be a really good friend. She is. And uh, the, it looks like I'm going to be the godmother. So. Oh, great. Uh, OK, so debit or credit? Um, whatever works. <laughs> OK. <laughs>I think it looks great the way it is. No, no, it needs more of a, a mature vibe. I mean, it's, it, it's a baby shower. It's not some kid's birthday party. Hey, do you see the... Um, what do you need? I think it's underneath there. That thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, for $400, you'd think they'd include instructions in English. Oh, some inheritance I don't know about? My best friend is having a baby, and I'm the godmother. Y you? Yes, me. Is that so hard to believe? No, no, not at all. It's just, um, well, it's a big honor. I don't know. Hey, why don't you come by later? I'll put aside some wine for you. Thanks, but I don't, uh, I don't think you want guys around here. No, it'll be fun. I'm having it catered. Jenny's bringing the cake. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm going to Montreal. Really? Yeah, I, I think I need to talk to Claire. You don't have a long-distance calling plan? No, I mean, really talk to her. Look, I've had a month to think about it, and I just... I really need to understand what went wrong. She cheated on you. Erica, I, I can't just end this and never talk to her again. I'm not going back to reconcile. I just, I feel like, I just want to feel that it's over. You know, I get it. Yeah, go, go and do what you need to do. Thanks. Code red.
don't have any wrapping paper or even a dorky gift bag. Uh, in the bedroom, left side of the closet, third shelf. You know, a baby shower is basically just rewarding somebody for having sex. I have sex all the time. Where is my reward? I think it's the having sex part. Hmm. I'll be back Sunday night. I'm supply teaching Monday morning. Okay. Well, listen, um, drive safe. Thanks. And, uh, good luck. Thanks. Have fun. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What did you forget? What are you, what are you doing here? Listen, Jenny, Jenny's in the bedroom. Just checking in. Interesting reading material. Girlfriend's Guide to Pregnancy. Judith made me the godmother. Really? Yeah. Why is that a surprise? Do I look surprised? I think if anyone's surprised, it's you. Okay, well, historically, I haven't exactly, you know, been godmother material, because the godmother is the one that, you know, takes care of the child if, you, well, if something were to happen. It's a lot of responsibility, you know? You need a really secure, calm, mm -hmm. stable person for that job. Oh, and, and that's not you? No, I never used to be. But, you know, because I kind of always thought that I was more of the wacky aunt Erica type, but, you know, I... I I have a job now, something that might lead to an actual career, and I, I mean, everything in my life is falling into place. And Judith sees that. Obviously, Anthony agrees, and I just think that it's time that I started seeing it too. Okay, does this just look like shit or some kind of avant-garde orgasm? Hi. Hi. Who are you? Uh, the neighbor, and he just came over to borrow some of the, um, some of that there. Thanks. You're welcome. No, why don't I show you out? Sure. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you soon. So, thoughts? Wow, um, why don't you give me that and you can take out your origami skills on those napkins. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did we pass the time? And I've asked the caterer not to put alcohol, obviously, in the petit four. The cheese and the quiche is pasteurized, and the coffee is decaf. Right. Wow, you have this caterer? Of course. I'm not just going to throw something together. OK, now, as for you, just relax. Enjoy yourself. Take a load off. If you need anything, I'm at your beck and call. OK. Oh, OK. Hey, how are you? Oh, would you excuse me for a second? Sam. Sam. You know, if you keep checking in on Josh, it's not going to be a very fun stag night. I know, that's kind of the point. I don't want it to be too much fun. His best friend Ryan is in town, and ugh, they always get into trouble. Hmm. I told Josh no strippers, and I meant it. Just keep it clean and classy, just like this. Great party, by the way. Thank you. Thanks. I like to think I come by it honestly. Yeah, if this was one of Mom's, there would be a ton of brisket. There you are, Erica. Uh, yes. Wow. It's it's thoughtful of you to provide wine for us non-pregnant types. What's that? Oh, that is a baby Bjorn. How do you know that? Research. Hey, ladies, I'm Allison and Marie. This is Jenny. Fabulous shower. I love all the little details. Thank you. Th thank you. Um, would you ladies like something to drink? Sure. I've had, I have wine or, of course, a plethora of non-alcoholic drinks. I've got San Pellegrino and um, fruit juices. You know what? This elderberry juice is delish. Try some on the ice. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this must be from you, Erica. Uh, oh, actually, I th um, those I think are from Jenny. I can resist. <laughs> Here, I'll, uh, I'll grab you mine. Pardon me. <laughs> I did, of course I did. Judith, it's your first child. Thank you. This is a bit awkward. What? We already bought the other high chair for Judith. It's being delivered tomorrow. We know you wanted to pay for it yourself, but it's a godmother's right to spoil the baby, isn't it? And especially when there are two of us. <laughs> I, um, the other high chair? Yeah. It's, I mean, it's so much more practical, right? And I, I'm totally 
take this back. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna see if I, uh, I just wanna make sure I didn't throw out the receipt. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Is that you're upset? No, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Oh, you're not acting fine. No, you know, Judith. I really, I think I just got a little bit carried away at the baby store. You know, I just really, I wanted to do something special, and this party is really special. Well, I am glad because, and you know, besides that other high chair, it just it sounds way more practical, right? And Allison and Marie, they seem like total godmother material. I put a lot of thought into the decision, and it wasn't easy. But, you know, they've got a kid already, and they're stable, and they, they just get it, you know? Totally. I mean, that makes sense, you know? And I'm, I'm more like the wacky Aunt Erica, right? Yeah, you, you, you lead this incredible, fun life, and you're going to be the best wacky aunt ever. Yes. Yeah. Where is that receipt? Yo, hostess, you forget there's a party going on? Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Fine, you guys, I'm totally fine. Go out and enjoy the guests. Um, I'm gonna grab some cake. <laughs> Jenny. No. Look, I, I'm not stupid. What's up? You look like you're gonna ball. I just, I, I thought that I was the godmother. And it turns out that Allison and Marie are, and I mean, it's totally it's not a big deal. Judith's only known them for a, a year. Does Anthony even know them? I, I don't get that. Okay, well, listen to this night and think quickly. You know what? You asked me, you dodged a bullet, babe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Always. Let's get some cake. Oh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, this is, uh, Jenny brought the cake. Oh, um, <laughs> everyone, please, uh, before we cake it up, I have something to say. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for coming tonight. Um, and I also want to especially thank Erica for making me a beautiful baby shower. She's going to be the best wacky aunt ever. Just like she's been my best friend forever. So, to Erica. Oh, wow, thanks. Cheers. <laughs> to Erica. <laughs> Cheers. <gasps> oh, my, Jenny! Sam. Jenny! Oh. Jenny, are you okay? Oh. Jenny! Did she drink too much? Oh. oh where am I? Oh, we need to get her into a cab. No, hey, Erica, please, please. My car's just outside. Drive me home. Of course. Okay, listen, I'm gonna take a cab back. I'll be oh. half an hour. Oh, 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 Okay, just oh. take your time. Oh. Here, take oh. your time. Oh. Take your time. I'm so, I'm so sorry, oh, honey. I'm okay. really sorry for ruining the party. No, 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 it's fine, oh. honey. Okay. Hey, Jenny, honey. It's okay, you're home. Oh, thank God. So what is it? I mean, is it, was it your oh. stomach? Are you just exhausted or oh, what? Me, tired? Please, the night's just begun. So why don't we go for a drink? Jenny! What the hell? Look, I was gonna let you suffer any longer. I can't believe you. We're going back. No, we're not, okay? You need some time to decompress, babe. We can't be bawling all over the place, okay? Uh, you know, we, we, Judith, she can... I mean, she can pick whoever she wants. Yes, yes, but she could have maybe told you before tonight. It was insensitive. Okay, don't argue. You know, sometimes I swear Judith is a computer. A data processing automaton. You're terrible. <laughs> Look, the thing is, is that Allison and Marie, I mean, they're parents. They have great jobs. They make a lot of money. So? So maybe if I were more like them, then Judith would have picked me. Wait, you want to be more like them? Wow, this calls for some pretty serious action. I apologize in advance for what I'm about to do. Je ah! No! Jenny! Not funny! Jenny! Hi. Jennifer! Jen I'm just with her. All right. Oh, these are the days 
And I can say that she is the one oh, Never since that day you remember You stayed away Now I've been thinking of it every day Come back Um, can I have my purse please? Oh, this? This? Yes, Jenny, I'm serious! Oh, oh, oh. Really mature. Since when do you buy elderberry juice? Since now. Get on stage with me. Yeah. Or, enjoy sleeping on a park bench tonight because your money and keys are one with my crotch. Okay, fine. One song, but that's okay. it. Okay. No, I mean it. No, that's fine. Fine. All right. Cheers. Oh. Woo! So come home right now, now. Since she's turning 30 in like three hours and she's never karaoke before, and she's dying of some rare terrible tropical disease. I know. Kitty. <laughs> Go. Go. Okay. Break a leg. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God. I don't believe you, Erica. I hate singing in public. Okay, wait. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Um, Erica singing? Who sent that? <laughs> yeah. Um, come on, who sent it? Uh, Josh. Erica and Jenny ran into him at his stag or something. Right. Looking particularly hot this evening. Jay, I think it's time that we, we we leave. Well, that's too bad. You should probably meet Ryan, considering you guys are gonna have to share duties. Erica's Sam's sister, Ergo, the maid of honor. Ryan's my best man. Best yes. man? You're the, so you are the Ryan, the college roommate that would sleep in the deck chair in the hallway when Sam would come and stay? You know, I was seeing a chiropractor about that for a while, then I found if you just Tone those stomach muscles, the back pain <laughs> melts away. Why haven't we met before? Oh, this guy's international. And thanks to my investment planning, he has houses in like four cities. Uh, the one in London's a flat. Who can afford a house in London, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the fees for the chimney sweep alone, right? Pew! <laughs> uh, trust me, don't buy the cow. Milk's free everywhere, all right? We're out of here. Let's go. Nice, Josh. Come on, let's go. The opinions of the groom don't necessarily reflect the standards of the best man. Uh, well, then I will try not to hold your taste in friends against you. Dude, come on, let's go. Poker. I gotta. I'm the best man. It's my duty to be his whipping boy. Well, hey, just make sure my future brother-in-law remains a virgin. Well, we'll be in the VIP room if you two ever get tired of karaoke. When you're tired of karaoke, you're tired of life. Wow, it's a fight. Oh, awesome. Two missed calls from Judah. Excuse me. So, you and Jenny aren't doing karaoke. How did you know? I thought Jenny was sick. Um, no, she's, uh, she's fine. 
It was a, it was just a misunderstanding, Jude. She fainted in your living room. Look, I'm, I'm gonna be there in 10 minutes. I'm just hailing a cab right now. No, just stay up. Enjoy yourself. Jude! You know what? You're not the godmother. Fine, you get upset. Whatever. But then you go and do this. God, you wonder why I chose Allison and Marie. No wondering here, not anymore. I fully get it. <sighs> I need a drink. Okay, I, I, I know you need a drink. Let's get you one, and then you should really go and talk to Judith. No, I don't think so. Mm -mm. Hey, you know what? I have always wanted to learn how to play poker. Erica, I, I think... You know what the thing is, is that I tried, but no matter, you know, what I do, what job I have, I'm still gonna be wacky Erica, you know, the irresponsible one, the flake, and you know, that's fine, that's fine, I really don't care. I'm just as happy to party at the kids' table. Thanks for the loaner. Well, you, you can keep her because I don't need it. Oh. So baby shower didn't go so well. Huh. Well, let me guess. The party didn't turn out the way you'd hoped, and now you don't want to go back. Just tell me, you know, where am I going today? Your bat mitzvah. My bat mitzvah? Why? Well, because you ran away from that party, too. And those who fail to learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Winston Churchill. I'm going back to the 80s? You're going back to that special Jewish coming-of-age ceremony where you left childhood behind forever and became an adult. Mm -hmm. And so why is this a regret? My parents, they spent six months planning my bed I had requested this dirty dancing thing, and my mom, she was a huge Patrick Swayze fan, so she was all over it, but failed to deliver in every way. My bed mitzvah, it meant a lot to me and to my parents, and I just had this idea about how it was gonna be, and when it didn't go according to plan, I just freaked out. You know, I felt like everything was going wrong, and the final straw was this kid, Cody Maxwell. Cody was the cool kid. He was the guy that everybody wanted at their bat mitzvahs, and I, I don't know, somehow, he ended up calling me a juicer. <laughs> juicer! <laughs> a juicer? Yeah, it's, it's like loser, but with Jew. Ah. Anyway, that was it. You know, I had pinned all of my hopes on this day, and... It, it, it felt like such a huge failure, so I was a huge failure, and I I bailed on the whole thing. I stormed out and spent the evening in the car crying. My parents were devastated. They got in a huge fight, all because of my silly freak out. And what would you do differently? I would stay. I would hang with my parents and, and Leo and Sammy, and I would dance with my friends and just enjoy it for what it is instead of making it into something that it isn't. Oh, my God. Okay, Erica, it's time to read from the Torah.
just want you to know how proud we are of you, darling, and that we would never put baby in the corner because you're no longer a baby. You are a woman now. What do you think? It's great. You really outdid yourselves. Now, I hope you don't mind we didn't hire a proper Patrick Swayze impersonator. But Uncle Ruby seen Dirty Dancing 53 times. No, I love it. Women now, honey, dance with me. Hello, young lady. May I have this dance? Take a chance with me. Come a little closer. You better look so fine. Oh, I need you to be mine. Won't you look my way? I can't wait another day to see you, baby. It's driving me crazy. A baby dance with me. Come on, baby. Won't you call me up, come on, baby? Cause I can't miss another chance for you to dance. watch someone commit social suicide. Come on, Jenny. It's hilarious. Do you realize Cody Maxwell is here? I heard last weekend that he actually kissed that skeezer Carly Rosenfeld. And you're way cuter than her. So I totally thought he was going to kiss you. But now? No way. This bot mitzvah is shit. <laughs> Can't believe I chose this one over Rachel Epstein's. You can always leave. That's an option. Yeah. I think maybe I will. Hey, hey, Barry, what do you call a loser at her bat mitzvah? A juicer. <laughs> you know, Cody, not to be condescending and all, but all this judging of people, it's not so nice, especially considering the fact you're a bedwetter. You're thinking, how does she know? Not gonna bore you with the details, but after the class trip to Ottawa next year, everyone will know. And your reign of terror will be over. Cody, being a little shit again? <laughs> Get out of here. Leo, look at your hair. What? It's choice. It's a mullet. Business in the front, party in the back, baby. Oh, speaking of parties, brought my guitar. Maybe jam with the band later if they'll let me. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, I just wanted to say, you nailing that little bastard was way cool. You saw that? I did, and it was righteous. A pie. Down low. In the middle, too slow. A fun, sis. Two Tom Collins on the rocks. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. Mazel tov. How's my girl doing? Awesome. This party's like the coolest ever. Watch this one. Juice or water, that's it. Not to worry, sir. I'll keep an eye on her. Thanks for the tour apart. Can they just brought me to the party? No party is any fun unless seasoned with folly. Desiderius Erasmus. Took out Cody Maxwell, and my brother called me righteous. That preserves a cocktail, don't you think? I cannot serve alcohol to minors. You heard your father. The fact that I'm a child is a technicality. Do you know who is a really remarkable child? Shirley Temple. So, this is my bar mitzvah. Yes, it is. It's pretty great. Even my dad seems happy. I don't think I remember him smiling until the late 90s. You know what's nice? To see them like that, to enjoy it, to be 32, and to not give a damn. Erica, Erica, will you take this damn thing, please? What is that? A Shirley Temple. Come with me, sweetheart. What's wrong? I just want to have a little chat with you. So come with me, cause we're meant to be. And you know, honey, 
in the next little while, your body is gonna start to change too. So many changes. Mom, can we not talk about this right now? Of course, I'm sorry. I don't wanna embarrass you in front of your friends. It's just, oh, I look at this face and I see my little baby. Before you know it, I'll be walking down the aisle, playing with my grandchildren, visiting you at the firm. The firm? The law firm. Don't you still want to be a lawyer? Right, a lawyer. Wow, I forgot all about that little face. I mean, yeah, that could happen. But it's also possible I won't get married right away. I might be 30 and still single. Oh, sweetheart, don't worry. That's not gonna happen. By 30, you'll have two kids and a husband, trust me. But what if I don't? What if I'm not a lawyer? What if at 30, I'm still single and living in a one-bedroom apartment and working as someone's assistant? Erica, that's not gonna happen. Living like that, like some bum at 30. That's not you. Now stop thinking such terrible thoughts. Go, to be with your friends. Mm. I love you. Thank you. Oh, that was, that was mine, that's fine. Too bad. Party's that way. I need a minute. Oh. I think it's a shame that you're not enjoying your bat mitzvah. It is a once-in-a-lifetime event. Twice if you're me. That's true. Why do I even care? I mean, what's the point of doing this again? It's not like I'm gonna reach adulthood anyway. At least not according how my mom finds it. Well, you know, then why not just try being who you are? Hey, how about that? I'm not even sure I know who I am. Well, that's not true. You're Erica Strange. Friend, daughter, crazy aunt, but mitzvah honoree. But mitzvah honoree. Yeah, right. You know what it's like, Erica? It's like, it's like you are in a boat. You've got this one oar over here and it's just rowing and rowing and rowing. You know, furiously fueled by everyone else's expectations. And that's, that's never gonna stop, but it's kind of got you going around in circles. Because if you want to move forward, then you also have to row with the oar that represents how you see yourself. Hmm. Learn to be what you are, and learn to resign with good grace all that you are not. Henri Frederic Amiel. dragging everyone to Rachel Epstein's bat mitzvah. Why is the band packing up? It's only 8 o'clock. Did you hear what I said? Don't move. If you just listened to me, none of this would have happened. Why is the band stopping? People still want to dance. Because we just hired them for a certain amount of time. Well, could we offer them more money to stay? Well, the thing, sweetie, is that there isn't more money. Oh, please, Gary, I told you not to discuss this in we front of the kids. We should have hired a DJ. It would have been a lot cheaper than hiring a stupid band. Oh, okay, so then it's my fault? I guess band it's my DJ, fault. honestly, I don't care. You see? I just she doesn't see care. So why don't we just hire Leo and his guitar? Oh, Gary, don't be ridiculous. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we doing? Want to jam, right? No way! Wait. Um, what are we playing? Uh, hi. You're probably wondering why the band is packed up so early. Well, my parents want them to play all night, but I want to try something a little different. But first, I wanted to thank my parents for throwing me the best butt mitzvah ever. I come home 
in the morning light my mother says when you gonna live your life right oh mother dear we're not the fortunate ones but girls they wanna have fun oh girls they wanna have fun phone rings in the middle of the night my father yells what you gonna do with your life oh daddy dear you know you're still number one but girls Thirteen years ago... Thirteen years ago... My wife gave me a great gift. A girl. A girl who has your tenacity? And your... tempestuousness. And your wit? And your compassion. And today we celebrate together as that girl becomes a woman. Day. This becomes strip poker. Off with the shirts. That includes you, Jennifer. I'm in. Um, I'm out. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm leaving. What? You, you just said. No, no, I'm, I changed my mind, though, so. And I can't change it back? Um, wow, trust me, under normal circumstances, you, you most definitely could, but there's somewhere that I really need to be. Okay, well, what's the forecast for tomorrow, then? Because if that calls for normal circumstances, I'd love to take you out for dinner. That would be great. Yeah. Um, do you want to... A phone number or email or... You know what? You're in a rush right now, so don't worry. I'll figure it out. Torture Josh if I have to. Okay. Please do. Good night. Thanks. Hi. Oh, Judith, thank God you're still here. Just please, 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 just hear me out. Allison and Marie waiting for me downstairs. I know, I just, I'm, so, I'm sorry that I took off on you, and, and, and Jenny and I, with karaoke, it was just stupid. Whatever. I don't care. Okay, I really don't. Judith! Jude, please! Hey, it's me, again. Uh, I'm just, I'm calling to apologize. Jude, please call me back. Judith! I brought your book back. Thanks, it'll make great kindling. No, it was a good read. Yeah, but I'm not the godmother, and I sure as hell don't want to be the wacky aunt. Who says you have to be either? E.E. E. Cummings said it takes a lot of courage to grow up and be who you really are. Good night. <laughs> Jude! 
Hey. You walked out of my baby shower. I know. I was wrong. And, uh, oh. Look, the whole godmother thing, okay? Look, Allison and Marie, they were the right choice, Jude. I get it. I, I picked them because they've been through this before. And I haven't. <clears throat> and I'm terrified. And maybe it wasn't sensitive, okay? And I'm a No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. The whole time you were gone, they kept talking about uh, egg yolk baby poop. Yeah, it's newborn poop. It's like it's it's like uh, egg yolk, but it smells like popcorn. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I'm not handling this. How do you even know about that? I did some research, you know, when I thought that I was going to be the whatever. Oh, God, I feel terrible. Don't, don't. Hey, listen, you made the right choice. You did the right thing, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna babysit. I'm gonna spoil your kid rotten. I am gonna bring you casseroles when you weren't sleeping and do everything that I can to help you. Because godmother or not, I'm still your best friend. And surprise! What's this? It's the last thing on your registry. Bum ba ba bum! <laughs> the diaper eater! Probably the least flashy thing that you could get, but it's practical. And every time I use it, I will think of you. Mmm. Thanks. <laughs> no, thank you. There comes a point when you realize truth is this. Being grown up is simply knowing who you are and having the courage to be that person. Warts and all. back from Montreal in one piece. I am. So, how'd it go? Oh, better than it should have, actually. Wow. That's surprising. Ryan! Oh, okay, um, well, look, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later, all right? Yeah, I'll okay. talk to you later. Hey. 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 You're early. I know, I am early. Half an hour early. And I know that may seem creepy, but <laughs> I just like showing up early for things. That's okay. That, I, I was going to change into something nicer, so. You look great. Thank you. Uh, do you want to come in for a second? I've got lots of elderberry juice left over from last night. Elderberry? It's actually quite good. I'll trust you on that one. And why do you have elderberry juice? Don't ask. 